So you are Georgie. That's Hatham. What? We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. And we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? <sighs> Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. Verification? And no. What's this? Private correspondence. Well, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Which did all the growth for us? Do not touch the ground. Interesting. I can't cross here. Can I cross here? Okay, I can cross here. Stop fatal messengers within the time limit. Neothail updated. Neothail's actions during the Braddock expedition, along with her relationship with known Templar, more or less excluded her from becoming clan mother herself in adulthood. However, it seems even after her child was born, she continued arguing for action in the war, rather than the restraint advocated by the village elders. She did, however, cut off all contact with Hatham. It's not clear why the Templars attacked in 1760, or what their objective might have been. The village was nearly destroyed, but recovered over the course of several years. Well, that makes slightly more sense. It seems the Templars weren't behind the burning of Connor's village. You can thank George Washington for that. I'm guessing that part of Washington's military career didn't make it into your history books. But then, so many things didn't. Washington's lack of skill didn't go unremarked either. Charles Lee lost faith in him completely, never going quite so far as to disobey Washington's orders, but not following them properly either. Then, in 1777-78, Washington had to defend himself against the Conway Cabal, which threatened to replace him with General Horatio Gates. However, Washington's strength lay in politics, and leading the army was much about politics as it was about winning battles. Washington had to negotiate between the varying interests of the army, the individual colonies, and Congress, and not just for instructions on how to wage the war, but also for basic supplies for the troops. By all accounts, he must have been extremely patient, trying to get politicians to give you anything is like trying to get a dog to give you a bone. Actually, my money would be on the dogs, who will occasionally listen to reason. Whatever the criticisms of Washington's military strengths, 
the bottom line is that he won eventually. When the revolution ended, he was unanimous choice for president, a credit to the fact that he managed to both win the war and not alienate anyone in Congress. Of course, if you're looking for something, something to criticize Washington for, you don't have to look far. He ordered the total ruin of indigenous settlements during the Sullivan expedition. Not to mention he was a plantation owner, which meant he owned more than 200 slaves, and while yes, his will did provide for them being freed, after both he and his wife were dead and wouldn't need them anymore, I don't really consider that particularly altruistic. Oh, am I ending on a low note? Sorry, I'm here to teach you history, not soothe your sense of national pride. Where are they? The Sullivan Expedition, date June, September 1779, Washington's response to several raids by British and Iroquois groups along the northern frontier. Forces under Joseph Brandt and John Butler had attacked forts and settlements in the Wyoming and Cherry Valleys, killing and scalping and children as well as militia. But Washington's orders were very clear. In order to root out the problem, Sullivan was to attack and burn as many Iroquois settlements as he could find and take as many prisoners as he could. As he could. Sullivan complied, burning 40 Iroquois villages and destroying an estimated 160,000 bushels of corn. His troops also answered previous atrocities with their own, scalping bodies and burning people alive in cabins. Sullivan didn't limit his troops to active enemies either. He also attacked the Onondaga, who had stayed neutral during the war. This attack had the unsurprising effect of making the Onondaga into enemies of the Patriots. In the end, the Sullivan expedition failed to stop raising the area. Those continued throughout the revolution as each side sought to get revenge for the violence of the other. The repeated attacks on both sides eventually laid waste to the entire Connecticut territory, also known as Mohawk Valley, and the land around it. Possibly because of Sullivan, the Sullivan expedition, George Washington became known among the Iroquois as the Town Destroyer. Although the original origin of the nickname is historically contested, he might have already earned at destroying towns during the French and Indian War. Now there's the mark of a great statement. It's hard to tell when he's got a reputation for scorched earth policies because he did it so much. Isaac Potts House. George Washington's headquarters during the winter of 1777. Okay, don't really care. Oh, there's so much, so many beavers here. Get out of the way! Last one. Make sure the village is safe. Whoa. What's that over there?
Yay. Radun Hagedun Zak Shewe, next to Ohnu Jera. What can you do? You had to get Tiga Oya Lungwe, I is a nest again. Unka Giga Oya Lungwe. They are no good, Charles Lee. Luana Duqua, Yasagoya Donhawe, cannot do good, and no dohkar at Nihadi. Nahoda Got no in your hone. What they sagodi dashtana, Zini Hadi, I am Kim Hunta. Ya, ya, te tkari huayeri. Una jera di desat ni gun hare. Ya, con tat desadu huntoni ne giga, ne ayago de rio. Una tia schaga ne, te dum zon da ke daste. They'll be slaughtered. Avendu can yaka oils from attacking. Wait, where's my horse? I used to have a horse. Son of a... Okay. Prevent them from attacking. Neutralize. Come on. Closest, 41. That's my body? No. That's my body. Skana gonna doggo. The dunha get him. The wasset done it go. No hoda? Gwegum ha crory near Charles Lee. But trio to the honor the hon's only I'm kia want to. Don't go easy on say, you know what is it? A toga tigarungue. Well, Horrod zit is at Nigora denu. Zia sade nyanda the squat Nigora goni. Nick the owner gone rune de. Zin guan who garm de. They got new scar a gig. Go next, you got new scar and see what guanya has in a square at the new statsege. Don't use that Nigora de Hanto. Don't know what does want ducks at the Nezungue da Sumha. Zadarissa. Unga Dorissa no nuns are here, you. Really? Ya Tena Tat is a dancer. Sika do hit stone. Redun Hagedum. Charles Lee Mountmouth was a dodge. A second hot to masse. Zina hold them but three hot. Runa <laughs> End of sequence. And here, there you go. 
this agreement came to a head. Because of the colonel left to become an assassin, he and his old friend drifted apart. Sometimes that can happen when one of you becomes an assassin. Then they formed a rather different views of the, how the village could participate in the war. While Kanir Tokon originally supported Kano's idea that the village stay neutral, but after seeing the protection offered to other nations by both British and French, he began to consider. Eventually, he argued for the village joining the war, generally on the side of the British, the allies of many of other Kanir Keiko. The disagreement came to a head when Kanir Tekon confronted Connor with the knowledge that his loyalist allies had planned an attack on their village. In the ensuing fight, Connor was forced to kill his friend. So annoying when that happens. The Declaration of Independence. Yeah. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. We've got about 20 minutes left. Tiny Bambi! Tiny Dum! Tiny Bambi! Yeah, you keep running the way I'm supposed to be running, so... <laughs> nah. Beaver! I have beaver stuff now. Me? Who said me? Yeah, man. Statue of a deer? Oh. Not an actual deer? Yama. Yama. It's a stuck deer. Come on. Nah. I'm back in the general store. Where am I even going? Why are you so fast? No? Okay. We must hold this position for as long as it takes! If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained! The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Oh, the deer. Assassinate the deer. Yama. Is that Lafayette? It is Lafayette. 
Battle of Monmouth. Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. <laughs> he shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Where did they come from? Whoa. Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bon chance, mon ami. Bon chance. Slot on the red sword and for the leading kill platoon with a single cannonball. Oh. Oh, there we go. That should slow them down. But us some time, sir. We'll push these red coats back yet. Down. Okay, I'm not able to hit. To oh, there we go. Turn, turn, turn. We'll push these red coats back yet. These guys first. That should slow them down. Turn, turn. Left, left. That should slow them down. Turn, 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 turn. We'll push these red coats back yet. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Oh, we killed a lot of redcoats. Go back to Monmouth. The Battle of Monmouth. The Battle of Monmouth wasn't particularly significant strategically, but it was an important proving ground for Washington and the Continental Army. It was also a near disaster, but I'm getting ahead of myself, and that's naughty. Once the British learned that the French had joined the Revolutionary War, British troops were ordered to withdraw from Philadelphia and march to New York. That's quite a march. I bet they couldn't wait for the invention of the motor car. The Continental Army was just finishing its winter at Valley Forge, and George Washington was anxious to try his newly trained troops. He decided to attack the British column in an attempt to delay it or stop it entirely. Washington chose Charles Lee to lead the advance guard in the attack. At first, Lee said no, saying that the British troops should be left alone. However, when Washington ignored his protest and offered the command to the Marquis de Lafayette instead, Lee agreed to fight. 
Police troops caught up to the British column at the Monmouth Court House and attacked. The day was hot, more than 100 Fahrenheit, and soldiers on both sides dropping from heat exhaustion. Despite the weather, the Continental Army was doing well until Lee mysteriously ordered a retreat, a move that still confuses modern historians. People must have thought he was quite a pacifist for such a warrior, though of course people didn't know what you and I know now. It's nice to feel clever, isn't it? First time for you? Anyway, Lee's plan backfired. Washington arrived to find his troops retreating, but rallied them and attacked again. The two armies fought until nightfall, when the British sneaked away under cover of darkness, leaving the Continental Army victorious. But the British Army well on its way to New York City. Still, it was proof that Washington's troops were, finally, a match for the British. The battle secured Washington's reputation and destroyed Lee's. He was arrested, court-martialed, and kicked out of the army entirely. Letters, what letters? Hmm. Go back to Monmouth. Okay. Come on, men! We must fall back! We must retreat! If we carry, we'll die! Best we go! Retreat, brothers! Don't let the lobster back shoot! Fall back! Fall back! Get back to the... Oh, see. So watch out for Patriot if we executions. Carry, we'll die. Best we go. Go. I can deal with this. That wasn't good. Let's do it again. We need to go we must now. Go back. Fall back. Fall back. If we remain here, we're dead men. Jump the horse. Get the horse. Get the horse. Come on, get the horse. <sighs> Don't let the lobster back shoot. Get back to the others. I will take care of this! Move. If we remain here, we're dead men! can deal with this! <laughs> Coats, go join the others. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. 
Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. <laughs> the time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. <laughs> you ignorant, you arrogant child. Battle of Monmouth. No, never mind. Sequence 10 complete! There's like two more, right? The DNA tracker. Yeah, there's two more. I'm not gonna go full completionist, but I'm betting 90%. Something's happened, Desmond. What? Is my father... has your dad. Well, of course they do. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. Mm. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Well, let's go save an asshole. They're probably holding your father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This is a bad idea. Beep, beep. Yeah, no way I'm just walking in though. Everyone's looking at me. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Come on. Damn, that's a knife. Everyone's leaving. Fourth floor. Boop. Well, yeah. see, you've learned absolutely nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? Yeah, stupid. Where's my father? 
Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. No, no. You're gonna have Shut to up. climb the rest of the way. Of course. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Your dad could be anywhere, Desmond. I'm sorry, but I just don't know where he is. Let's ask. That's okay. I do. something To remember the floor plan from a game from like 2002. Give me the apple. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. <laughs> you think that'll help you? Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? Stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Pinya is just a robot. Yet, get out! What the hell was that? Uh. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? Come here. Up running. Down with enough that. is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation, but you responded to my hospitality with only violence. I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories, but you're not worth the trouble. Um, where am I going? I hereby authorize the use of deadly force. Kill the bastard! 
and then bring me the apple. Tiny knife seems to be walking. Where's the big boss? Where the hell am I supposed to go? Someone tell me, where do I need to go? That's something. Where's Vidic? the elevator. Well, the guy said I should carry a gun. the gun come on you lefty bastard dad not so fast mr. miles in case you hadn't noticed I'm the one calling the shots now give me the apple you want it fine here it is wait no! Uh. 
Damn, Desmond. Damn. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so. Apple. This thing is so fucking dangerous. <sighs> I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Yeah, let's do it before I forget. If I'm not mistaken, that way. us for we were flesh and flesh is frail though suits and shields might offer comfort such adornments would not suffice not to save us all so we sought to change what we were in this manner we might thrive in a world made poisonous it was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done Aita my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. You guys are weird. Let's not go that way. I missed, didn't I? Okay, up here, to the right. What? Well, how? Oh. 
No climb, asshole. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body a vessel to hold these sparks? But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. So you upload it. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. So you to leave, it. to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? So what do we have? I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Okay, so that's it for the day. Maybe I'll clock in a few, a couple of more hours later this evening. And yeah, close to the end, I think. Maybe a few, a couple more sessions. Uh, so yeah, see you later. Try to find a new laid back game instead of Terraria. In the meantime, stay good, have fun. <laughs>